by setting up SVN to get into our repository. First we just download the source from SourceForge. You pick either 32 or 64 bit depending on what your um, operating system is. Program the SVN client is called Tortoise SVN. I'll save it to the computer. Okay, so I switched to an administrator account. Let's go through the process again. You gotta be administrator because it puts locks so other people can't modify the files. After this I'm gonna log out and log in back into the regular user account. Alright, I'm setting this up so like you're sharing uh, an SVN folder that's also inside of a Dropbox. So right now I'm just downloading all of the contents of the shared SVN folder so then we can add it to the SVN to see if it functions correctly. Okay, so Dropbox has finished updating all everything. So I'm just navigated to the Dropbox folder and you can see that it's already got that big green check mark on it that means that the SVN is up to date so let's attempt let's just do an update it doesn't remember the credentials but it's automatically pulling up the SVN server so that's kind of handy so let's try webnet what I'm going to do is I'm going to just disable the Dropbox service so it doesn't make any changes for this webnet okay so it looks like we're up to date there just gonna try to make a change to something just to test it Right now, this isn't synced with uh, with Dropbox at all, so it won't show up on the other servers. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add this file. And I'm gonna do commit test scan file. So it added the file successfully. Now I need to go up my folder here. And I'm going to do an update. And that was under make notes there is the file automatically now if I go back and I update or I just open the Dropbox back up see what it does download the list of files that file. Commit the change for that. Moved. Test. So that should have removed it and it Dropbox automatically removed it out of this folder. Um, so this way we can make changes to the files, they are updated on each other's computers automatically, but then when we actually have the file finished, we'll 
commit the change to the SVN, um, you know, because we don't need to commit every single possible change while we're debugging code, but this way it's still consistent and we can still track each other's changes for, you know, significant changes. Let's go open um, fisheye. Get commits. Log in. Okay, so there's the changes. These are the changes to that uh, file. So, there we go. Looks good.